recently we've played games such as The Devil's Calculator or Baba is You and well, you guys seem to really love it when I play math games. So tonight I'm going to be playing one that involves quite a bit of logic and strategy and problem solving and that is none other than Cluedo. I believe it's just called over there, but Cluedo is such, such a fun game that involves so much strategy and deciphering puzzles and piecing things together to try and work out who did what type of murder in which room with a particular weapon, and it's, oh, it's just so much fun, and I've played it on my other ASMR channel, and Whenever I have played it, you guys seem to really like it. So I thought I would do it here on my maths channel because it makes more sense to do it here. And I hope you all do enjoy. So if you do, why not consider dropping this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and enjoy ASMR and enjoy maths and enjoy ASMR maths, then why not consider subscribing? It would really mean the world to me. Anyways, without further ado, let us jump into some Cluedo. So, <coughs> this here is uh, the Cluedo classic game that I have downloaded from Steam. It is very, very good. Um, and we're just going to jump into a nice, friendly, single-player game and play in the classic mansion, the Tudor mansion. I really want to try and buy some more of these packs. And the Sherlock one, very fitting for this kind of game. But if you've never played Cluedo before, essentially what is going to happen is, well, we need to choose our character. So let's go for, I feel like, prof a Reverend Green, it says in the bottom right, looks the most like me, don't you think? So we'll go Reverend Green. And I like to play, it's it's a board game basically, so I like to play four players. So let's just add, uh, let's make it two girls, two guys. And we'll play on medium difficulty. Now the rest are just going to be AI, so let's start game. And the way this game works is we are going into the mansion. And there is going to be a person a weapon and a room selected from all the different weapons, people and rooms you can see on the site. So one from each has been picked and put into a little envelope. And then the rest of the cards get sent out to the rest of us here. And well, everything's going really quickly, so I don't know if I can quickly pause to explain it. And the cards that we have are our cards. We know that because we have those cards, those cards are not in the envelope and we're trying to work out what's in the envelope. So everything that we have has been crossed out from our little list of things that we know it isn't. So we know mustard's not the killer. We know it wasn't done with the candlestick and uh, whatever happened wasn't in the, the billiard room, the dining room and the lounge. Now we need to try and work out what it could be, or couldn't be. And in order to do that, we each take turns moving around the board, and in each turn you try and move into a room, and when you're in that room, you pose what you think it could be, and then you ask someone if it is that, and if they have any of the cards that you have posed. So say we think it's Scarlet with the dagger in the conservatory, we try and work our way to the conservatory, guess that, and then we choose a person to uh, reveal one of these cards, if they have any, to us. If not, then it doesn't really help us do much. We, we want to try 
find C cards so we can cross them off our list. But one of the important things to work out is when it's not our turn. So for example, this is Scarlet's turn. Scarlet thinks it was Peacock with the revolver in the hall. Now, Scarlet asked Peacock if they have any of them. I'm actually going to make my camera just a tad smaller for you. Now, Peacock showed something because there's a dick. So we know she either showed Peacock, Revolver, or Vol. We don't know which one, however. So we could put a question mark in there. But I like to do this little subscript of a one. Which means, basically, on her first time showing something, it was part of that set. So I do the same for Revolver and Vol. I'm not sure if this is the most efficient method, but um, thinking of it logically, this is all we can kind of assume right now, that it's obviously one of them, but we don't know what. So that's Scarlet's turn done. It now moves on to Peacock, who is next in the queue. Now you can only assume a room if you are in that room. So Peacock has gone to the hall and has assumed green and wrench. Oh, I forgot. You don't pick a person to show. You go around everybody until it, someone shows you something. So, for example, I have to show Peacock if I have something. If not, then Mustard does. If not, then Scarlet does. Now, nobody showed anything. Which is crazy. Because that means Peacock has just worked out which one of these three it is. Assuming that Peacock wasn't stupid enough to just do three that she already had, I suspect Peacock maybe has the hole, in which case it's either wrench or green, but it could be any, so I'm gonna pop question marks in here because we have a feeling it could be one of those three. You can see it automatically fills in X's for us because we know that Mustard and Scarlet didn't show them on their turns, and we didn't either, so anyways, now it's our turn. I hope everything's making sense, by the way. Okay, so we can only go to the library, study, hall, and lounge with a roll of five. Now, if I go hall, I could work out if Peacock has hall. I don't know if that's too risky at this stage, though. I feel like it could be better to go do something like the lounge, which we have, and then do something like, let's try and start by working out who it was. So let's do something like mustard, and then we'll do, oh no, no, if we want to work out who it is, we need to do a person we don't have, like Scarlet and then the candlestick, because we know it's not these two. So if someone shows us something, we know for sure it's going to be Scarlet. So that's one little strategy I like to use. It Again, it might not be the best, but it's one little strategy I use. Uh, another one I like to use is because there's more rooms than if anything else. I feel like it could be quite good trying to work out what room it is first. Because then that crosses out so many things when you finally do. And along the way, maybe you'll work out things about the weapon or the suspect. Anyways, Mustard thinks study wrench by Peacock. So let's pop like a number two in Scarlet's column because she either showed the study or Peacock. Which is interesting. Maybe it's wrench then. Maybe it's wrench. This is interesting. I think maybe on our next go we could try and go to the study. Because if we find out if uh, Scarlet had study then... Okay, well everybody's doing wrench now. <laughs> oh wait. We know it's not wrench because Scarlet guessed wrench and Peacock didn't show it. 
so therefore we know it's Reg. So we've got an early lead, but I feel like maybe everybody already has that. So we can score out all these, um, and then we can get rid of the... Oh no, we can't get rid of the one because they might have shown it. They might have shown it. So that's all we know so far. Let's. We have to show a dining room here. So I think what we're going to do next on our go is try and head to the study, 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 study. So Peacock gone to the library, says it's Orchid with Revolver. Now we know it's not Revolver, we know Scarlet's just showing something, it could either be Orchid, Revolver, or Library. I probably should have switched the twos and the ones. I don't know why I did two first. Um, let's end our turn there. Moves on to us now. Your turn. Reverend Green, can we get to the study? We can't. So instead, I'm going to go dining room. Yeah, let's go dining room, because we've got that. So we could maybe guess Peacock with the Reg, because we know it's not the Reg. Now, if nobody shows anything here, that's really good for us. Let's find out. Dang it. We were hoping that uh, Mustard wouldn't show us. help us with knowing that Peacock didn't have Peacock and oh actually that does help us because now we know Scarlet couldn't have had Peacock so on her first turn second turn of showing something didn't show that which means they must have shown the study which crosses that out for us so that's where the logic as aspect is coming into play here. So ideally for us now, we maybe want to try and get to the hall next. That could be actually going to the hall is not really too useful. I think we're very close to working out who it is. So maybe we try and do something rogue, like working out Plum, because we don't really know much about Plum, do we? Now it's important to note that Everybody has four cards except for Mustard and myself. Okay, what's well just happened here? So Mustard said Library, Wrench, Orchid, and Scarlet shown something. So it was either Orchid, well it wasn't Wrench, but it could have been Library. Now because Scarlet has potentially shown Orchid on two turns now, she has both or one. Well, she definitely has one, but maybe both. <coughs> so I feel like going to them right now is probably not best. Now, this should be interesting. Plum. Mustard showed something. Could have been any. Could have been any. I think the fact that we've worked out a weapon so early on is not very good. Um, the thing is, is when people are using weapons as a choice, I feel like that's kind of silly if it's not the wrench, because that could give away that you have it. So, for example, Scarlet just used dagger in her options. We know it's not dagger, so surely she doesn't want to work out any information about that, unless she has it. And she's just using it to get rid of it. So, I'm sus. I'm sus. I'm going to get rid of the question marks. And I'm going to use the question marks as an I'm sus that you have that. Um, so, Peacock, we have to show the dining room. Um, Peacock doesn't have plum. So, yeah, I don't understand. That was...
So get rid of the one in mustard's column. Now the reason I mentioned about working out what cards people have earlier is because you can kind of see how many they have or we've worked out. So if you get to the point where you've found all their cards, you can fill the rest of their column with X's. But at the moment, that's not really helping us. Uh, yeah, so... Let's continue. I don't think there's anything else we can do. We have two out of the three things worked out. We just need to try and work out the room. Now, we know absolutely nothing about the conservatory or the ballroom. So I kind of want to go there next. Okay, now, the good news for us here is that we know it's not the wrench. And we know it's not the billiard room. Because, well, we have the billiard room. So whoever, <coughs> whoever shown something must have shown green. And that was Peacock. So let's pop a dick in there. We already know it's not green though. But that helps us know that we have one of Peacock's cards. Three to go. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. If somebody does like mustard as their person... That's, that could be good for us because it could help us work out something else. So plum and dagger. Um, so that was Scarlet that said that. We know it's not plum. Dagger. We already suspect Scarlet has dagger. And she might have just used it again. Mustard showed something. Mustard probably showed the ballroom. So I'm sus. I'm sus of that. Not enough to score it off. But that makes me think. Maybe don't go to the ballroom on your next guess. Maybe it's better to go to the conservatory. Because we know little about that. So Orchid Wrench Ballroom, once again, we suspect Mustard has Ballroom, so that works out. Which means that Peacock probably has Orchid, and oh, we thought the Eek, let's put a question mark. Oh, well, it must have been, because they couldn't have Wrench, and they don't have Ballroom, we already know that, so therefore... That has to be a tick. Now, we now know we can get rid of the one and two in this column. Um, because they don't have it. Which means on turn two, they must have shown this one. So we can get rid of the two. <coughs> so we now have two out of four or five of everybody's cards. It's a good sign. Gosh, my math logic brain is like, I really want to win. I want to win. If you're wondering how to win, when it's your turn, you can see you need to click. I'll show you after our turn. I'll show you how we can potentially win. But obviously, you only want to try and win when you think you have all three. Because you don't want to be wrong in your final accusation. Now we roll a four here, so luckily we can go to conservative.
observatory, which is one of the rooms we don't have much info about. Look at everybody chilling in that top room. Okay, so let's do, well, we know it's not mustard and we know it's not the wretch, so this is a big turn here for us. Please, nobody show anything. See you on the next video.